So if you follow my channel, you'll know that I've been looking for a denim jacket for quite some time. Uh, I recently picked up a really nicely detailed model from Momotaro, um, but it wasn't the right fit. It was a 42 inch chest, which should have been right for me, but it was really generously cut. So that's been moved on and I've picked up this. Um, this is from a brand called Tanuki. Um, it's a wonderful jacket. Um, Tanuki itself is a relatively new brand. Um, it seems to be uh, almost a super group of denim. Um, various artisans joining together to bring their expertise into one new brand, um, remaining anonymous out of choice, um, bringing expertise on shuttle looms and creation of fabric, sewing, and management of, uh, of, of denim creation. So a really interesting brand in itself. Um, Tanuki, the name, is reference to a Japanese folklore uh, character, a really popular character in Japanese folklore, a raccoon dog with the power to shift shape, um, and I noticed some amusingly large testicles as well. Um, but yeah, very popular character in uh, Japanese folklore, and the branding here you see on the uh, goatskin patch in the in the uh, in the neck there, and on the shoulder. Um, that also is representative of that uh, idea of uh, uh, sort of remaking and repurposing, changing shape. Um, it's the Japanese symbol um, ni, if I pronounce that correctly, um, referring to tu um, in terms of duality. Um, the colouring, the red and white there, is representative of the Japanese flag. So as I say, a really interesting brand. Something that caught my eye before, um, but what I hadn't realised about uh, Tanuki and what you can't really pick up in the in the pictures is the quality of their fabric. So I knew it was a well detailed, well cut product, but um, having got this in hand, the fabric is wonderfully rough, um, loose weave, slubby, sort of really nice sort of organic feeling, hairy, uh, coarse denim, really something that I really like. Um, very reminiscent, I think, of some of the denims coming out of Oni. Um, Albeit, I'm much for the sort of the true indigo which uh, Tanuki are using. This sort of lighter indigo on uh, only um, not not whole, wholly to my taste. I really like the traditional deep dark indigo. So as I say, this is their Type Three jacket. It is the model Z ZB JK T3, uh, also known as the Zito B. So it's a very traditional uh, styling. It's got added hand warmers which weren't always featured in the uh, the original type 3s I don't think and it's cut for a nice uh, what I'd call a western cut so it's got a slightly longer body slightly longer arms which creates the perfect jacket for the uh, the western European market I think and it's a perfect fit for me so after the disappointment of the Momotaro um, this jacket really is exactly the fit that I was looking for. Um, pretty much uh, perfect, uh, sort of out the packet, um, and also a bit of scope probably to, to layer into the winter, but just over a t-shirt initially. I'm really pleased with the fit on this. So, as I say, um, the fabric's amazing. The detailing is equally impressive. So I think probably what we'll do is we'll come in for some details, I'll go over the measurements and then we'll wrap it up. Coming for some close-ups here, um, we'll start off at the top and front. Um, obviously we've got the, the goat skin patch there with the, uh, the symbol, the knee, um, which symbolises two. Repeat it again on the shoulder um, with the colours of the Japanese flag. I'll be interested to see how that, uh, that ages um, and blends in a little bit more. Um, we've got two-tone stitching primarily, so a gold and a, an orange colour. We've also got some pops of blue as we move down the jacket, which we're going to take a look at. On the buttons, we've got the uh, Tanuki character, a stylized raccoon dog there. Um, not always the form that you'll see uh, the character in folklore. There's a little tab at the bottom which is probably a little bit more recognisable of that character. On the inside, coming down, we've got some nice selvage on both uh, seams on the inside. The Tanuki um, tab with uh, 
the word now on the back. I'm not quite sure what that represents. And some information on the inside, which I think we're overexposing. Um, on the inside of the pockets, we don't have any salvage details, but we do have some nice pops of blue, which we'll see used occasionally around the jacket, which I think is quite interesting. Really nice pocket shapes on these. And obviously the sort of the bellows effect on the on the chest there. Moving down, we have hand warmer pockets. Really good size there. And on the inside, you see a nice uh, sort of herringbone style lining, nice and robust. And also the way it's stitched in allows you to form a nice and generously sized inside pocket, which I think is quite a nice little detail. On the rear of the, the buttons, you can see on the rear of the rivet, you've got the, the Tanuki 2 symbol again. And on the inside glass from here, you can see the the wonderful irregularity and roughness of fabric. Really, really nice. Something you can't really pick up when you see these jackets online. Just don't know quite what the fabric's going to be like. If I'd known it was going to be this interesting, I'd have picked up from something from Tanuki a long time ago. So moving around to the side, you see another return of that really nice blue stitching. And obviously the, the buttons at the bottom there to cinch your waist a little bit more if you if you want to tighten up the opening. I know a lot of people tend to wear it with the bottom button undone. On the cuffs we've got a nice blue pop there. No salvage details on the uh, on the cuffs. Um, quite a lot of cuffs I see uh, have a rivet reinforcing at that point. Um, these don't, but of course that means you've got a bit of flexibility should you want this tailored. So you can restitch that if you want a shorter arm, for example, which can be quite useful. Blue pop up the seam on the sleeve there. And at the bottom we've got the, uh, the Tanuki raccoon dog face there. Probably a slightly more recognisable form than the stylized image on the buttons. Got the label, made in Japan. And on the rear it says, Autumn arrives as a yokai rise. If you know what that means, please let me know. Flipping it over onto the reverse. Not a lot to see on the outside. And up at the top there, you've just got the, the rear of the goatskin patch with a nice sort of uh, flourish on the end, how it's been stitched together. Before we wrap it up, we'll give you a few measurements. Um, the chest, as I say, is a true 42, so it's 21 across. Um, the body length is really good for the, uh, the European market, a little bit longer than you'll find elsewhere sometimes. It's about 24.5 inches long. The sleeve is 25 inches. The shoulder is 18 across. And finally, at the bottom, the opening is 20. Okay, well that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Uh, I hope this was useful. If you haven't seen my channel before, I'm all about doing long-term reviews, so expect to see this jacket in the future, sort of six months in, 12 months in, and we'll see how it's developing over time, how it's worn, how it's fading, uh, how the denim is evolving. Um, if you're into denim, please check out the uh, rest of my videos. I'm sure we'll find that we have some other common interests elsewhere as well. So quality footwear, fountain pens, everyday carry, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Um, cycling, bit of guitar, bit of bass. Um, as I say, check it out. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Of course, I'd love it if you subscribed. And that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.